breakfast in Bangkok and we just finished up with lunch in Chiang Mai, so the northern part of Thailand. How, the, how did we do that? The benefits of flying. <laughs> Pretty lucky it worked out. Flying was uh, slightly cheaper than taking like, the 13 hour coach or something like that. Mm. So, Which was a one off. Uh, it's not often that you can get flights that cheap um, from Bangkok up here to northern Thailand. But so I've got a huge sm uh, smug smile, feeling pretty happy, feeling happy with myself. Um, so Chiang Mai was pretty interesting. We've got lots of activities planned. The first one being checking out all the temples in the local area. So we've come to see one of the many Buddhist temples on our trip here today in Chiang Mai and the first one is Wat Chedi Luang. Uh, it's pretty imposing when you first come in, especially when you walk in the main buildings or there's a lot of gold and a lot of pillars. It's a lot more flamboyant than some of the Buddhist temples we've seen in China, wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. And what's been really interesting to see here today is that um, right behind the modern temple which you can see just here um, is the ancient temple uh, just behind it as well so that was amazing to see to see kind of the modern interpretation of buddhism alongside its ancient beginnings as well Loi Krithong um, festival here, celebrated all over Thai Thailand, but especially in Chiang Mai. Um, it's where people light these lanterns up in the sky and also these floats that go into the river. It's a festival to celebrate uh, the river um, and the water and um, it's something that is absolutely special here. Um, but where are we right now, Jasmine? We're actually standing on our balcony. Uh, so there's our bedroom. And this is what's going on behind us. All the festivities right over there. It's a pretty good spot, right? We did indeed. We did. <laughs> 